So one thing I wanted to talk about was this really cool tool I found um, through Anova. And full disclaimer, they are a sponsor of mine, a huge supporter of what I'm doing and have helped me do a lot of stuff so far um, in the pursuit of this thing that is Kate. But they've got this thing called the Power Check. It's uh, part number 5420. This is a really, really handy tool. And there are tools out there like this that go for a lot more than what this retails for. Uh, you could check their website or dealers or whatever uh, to find one. Uh, just search it up online and you'll probably find it on Amazon. But it's a very affordable uh, way to test what wire is what. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up and you'll see how easy that is. And then I'm going to test it on a light and you'll see where this could actually come in handy. Uh, especially if you have a rat's nest of wires that you're slowly trying to figure out and reconnect to like say something like an s pod or a switch pros or or what have you um so let's check it out so first things first you're going to want to connect um, the positive and negatives to your battery directly so go ahead and do that there we go so now we got power to uh the power check unit now you'll see the leds come on for the unit right there I want to show you how easy this is. So essentially, you're, you're going to go find a, a wire that you want to test. And I'm using this because it's so easy. And then you can see how that lights up. Now, say if these two wires were coming out from underneath the engine bay and I didn't know what they connected to because I didn't have them labeled, you just hook this up and you can see the LEDs right there turn on. How cool is that? And that's as easy as it is. Now, say you want to test continuity and we'll do this very short. So say you have a length of wire and you want to make sure that one length of wire is connected to where it's supposed to be. Um, and you've got the same wire that you're, uh, you're testing for. You'll take this little alligator clip, say this is one side of the wire, and then you'll take your other side and then you'll be able to test for continuity and make sure that that wire is connected. That's that's it. That's that's as easy as it is. Um, there's another function, I guess, that tests ground. Um, I'm assuming that's ground. Uh, you can also switch it to three volts, five volts, or twelve volts, depending on the system. Twelve slash twenty-four volts. Just super handy. The the head rotates to get into like you know hard to reach spots. It also comes with an extended lead off the front right here. I just kind of a tape to my uh, to my wiring in case I ever really need to use it, but. It's a super handy tool. So we're going to be using this to uh, rewire Kate back to the S pod because a lot of my wires got um, kind of uh, mixed up in the shuffle of, of the of the swap. So I'm going to go ahead and check and see what this actually powers. I already know. I know it's my Pro Six, but check this out. Say I didn't know what these two wires were. Check that out. It's turning on my Pro Six up there. So now I know, okay, these are, this is my Pro 6. I can label it, which um, I have somewhere. There we go. Pro 6, switch one. So I know this is going to go to my switch one for my Pro 6. And then I can start doing it for all my other lights as well. Um, like this one's not labeled. So I'm not sure if this is my Flexera 3 or 4 right here. But I can easily find out by uh, connecting it and, and seeing. So super useful tool, uh, especially for those of you who do your own electrical. Um, Again, it's the Innova Power Check and uh, highly recommend it. Part number 5420.